To get your fabric ready for cutting, you're first going to pick a partner, pick a table, and you may decide to steam your fabric if it has wrinkles or if you've uh, pre-washed it. Um, and then you're going to straighten the grain. One person will grab one corner and the other person will grab the opposite diagonal corner and you'll both pull. And then you'll do the same thing to the other side. Grab the opposite diagonal corners and pull. Then you're going to look at your fabric and see if it has any nap or direction. Does it have any words or patterns that have to face the same way? If it does, you're going to have to cut your fabric right across in half and then put the two fabrics good to good so that they're both going in the same direction. Most fabric doesn't have direction, so if yours doesn't, you're just going to take your fabric and fold it in half with the two cut edges together. Turn it around so the fold is at the top and then your two finished edges, your two salvages, are together at the sides. Work through any wrinkles and then take your pattern and don't put it in the center. When you cut it, if you do it that way, you get small pieces on either side. It's better to put it in the top corner and then you have a big piece of fabric left over if you have any problems. So line the fabric up. Make sure the grain line is parallel to the selvage, the finished edge. Put on weights to hold it down. And then take a piece of tailoring chalk, any color that will show up, and just draw on the outside of the pattern all the way around. Now, if you pre-washed your fabric, it's not going to shrink. So, if you didn't pre-wash your fabric, it's going to shrink about 10%. So you may decide to add a little bit extra, an extra few centimeters, so that when it shrinks, it still fits you in the mid-thigh. Or you may decide if you have extra fabric, you want to go down uh, closer to your knees. So you can extend this line if you choose to. When you're done, take off the weights. Remove the pattern and you can use either your black scissors or the silver scissors. I prefer the silver. And you're going to cut just outside that line that you drew. So don't cut off the tailor's chalk, just cut around it. Cut through both layers because you're going to have two pieces, one for each leg. With your leftover fabric, make sure you save it all. Don't give it away, don't throw it away. You need to keep it in case you have any emergencies. When you're done, you have two separate pieces that will now need to be surged.